This is going to be a review for the mount and display pad. I'm going to compare it to some software programs that run on cell phones and tablets. The mount and display pad uses a software program called Basecamp. I've already done an in-depth tutorial about using Basecamp. This video is more or less just a demonstration and comparison. What I want to say is that if I select this button, it's the mute mic button. You can tell that the mic went to black and white. This is the unmute mic button, and if I press it, you can tell that it goes back to color. If I select the bottom screen, we can see it goes to the bottom screen. If I select top screen, it goes to my top screen. I can do the exact same thing with software programs for the cell phone. It's pretty nice. Whichever one is gray is the one that's not active. The one that's blue is active. I can switch between the different screens for Streamlabs OBS Studio as well. Pretty simple. You'd expect it to do all of that. What I'm going to do is hit this. It's called video and it's designed to play a promo. Now, I can't use these mute, non-mute mic buttons to control the volume or mute the media source. But with this, I've labeled it media source and you can see the media source went to black and white. If I tap on it again, it goes to color and I have full control over the audio, the volume. That's pretty cool to be able to do that with a cell phone program. This version here is the free version. It gives you eight buttons and you can assign them however you want. As you can tell, you can use different devices together. I would like to see the Mountain Corporation make a DisplayPad Pro or a DisplayPad 2. And instead of two rows of six, they should have three rows of five. And on the side, they could have like an LCD screen that allows for faders because you could control the speed of teleprompters, you could control lighting kits, as well as cameras. You could make it zoom in or control the focus. The Mountain Corporation could allow you, instead of having sliders and faders on the side, they could allow you to just assign more buttons. So instead of having three rows of five, you'd have three rows of seven. The reason I say that is because some of the Elgato products have the little knobs and you can control the Elgato lights, the Elgato cameras, and the Elgato teleprompter with those devices. And if the Mountain Display Corporation wants to put competition on Elgato, they have to do the same thing. They have to make teleprompters, lights, and cameras. That goes for all the Elgato Stream Deck knockoffs. I want to show that it's easy for me to switch with this. And right now, I'm using the Stream Deck mobile app. And I can make changes to the Streamlab software easy enough. If I click this, now I'm making changes to the OBS software. If you're live streaming and you're having a conversation with other people, with these mobile apps, it's hard to tell what camera angle you're switching between, where if you do have the physical hardware, you can kind of feel it. Like I can feel kind of between the different cameras because I can just run my fingers here, know I'm at the edge, where with the mobile devices, you really can't do that. Now, I'm sure somebody can use a 3D printer to print out like a tic-tac-toe grid where it would separate all these little buttons, and that would be really helpful. What I also want to say is the Elgato Stream Deck, when you hit the different cameras, it's kind of noisy. So if they could make the switching where it doesn't make any noise at all, that would be really great. And I also want to mention that you do kind of have to press down pretty hard on this, on this particular product. I hope the Elgato Corporation and all the other companies making knockoffs will try to make these devices as small as possible. You want them to have functionality, but they don't need to have edges any bigger than needed. 
One thing I want to say about this mount display pad is that it has to rest in this little like base unit, which is kind of heavy. And the reason being is this is designed to connect right into the mountain keyboards. I think the mount display pad is a nice product because you can usually pick it up for less than $50. But I also want to say the Elgato Stream Decks are a little bit pricier but they integrate with their cameras, their lighting kit, and their teleprompters really nicely. I thought it might be nice if people could see what the Touch Portal software looks like, as well as the Elgato Stream Deck mobile software program. They're both really easy to use, but like I said, this video is a demonstration, not a tutorial. I will have a tutorial coming probably within the next two or three weeks.